Coraline Rehearsal Recording for the St. Matthew Passion by J.S. Bach. This recording is for the second tenor part. On this recording, the tenor part is represented by the sound of a French horn. Here's a short example. That's the end of the example, but remember you can use your stereo balance control to further enhance or diminish your own vocal line. You'll find that the accompaniment is played on the organ throughout, as are any soloist's cues, though these are on a contrasting registration. Although we hint at tempi and dynamics on this recording, we've generally kept these fairly neutral, as they'll be at the discretion of your conductor. Some editions of the score use rehearsal figures, but so as to be as universal as possible, we'll not use these, but use bar numbers instead. If your score does not show bar numbers, you may wish to pencil them in. Each movement will begin afresh with bar one. Please remember that this recording contains copyright material, and that it's illegal to allow any part of it to be copied. Each section of this work is numbered, and so we'll cue the choruses solely by these numbers. However, there are generally two different systems used for this numbering, and for ease of reference, we've indicated them by the initials NBA and BWV. Your score will most likely use one of these. Please note that during the chorales, we've treated the pauses simply as ends of phrases, so we've not waited on them, but have kept strict tempo throughout. Chorus number one. Here then is Bach's St. Matthew. We'll begin at bar one. But your first entry is at bar 26. Twenty-six. Bar 34. And...
about 42. And... Bar 48. And... Fifty seven and and Bar 67. 